Friends, I want to tell you about two very different concepts, mutation and chromosome misaggregation and the roles in cancer. There are two very distinct mechanisms that are difficult, if not impossible, to isolate in the lab. A mutation, whose role in cancer is confirmed, is a type of damage to DNA, such as an alteration in the nucleotide sequence of the genome of an organism due to exposure to radiation or carcinogens. The cell is most susceptible to this kind of damage during DNA replication in cell division. In order to divide, cells have to unravel their DNA, duplicate it, and then distribute it equally amongst the other cells. It is here where DNA is more exposed to damage. But other kind of mistake can occur. Whole chromosome misirrigation, whose role in cancer is still being investigated. One chromosome gets stuck during cell division and does not travel to the recipient daughter cell, resulting in uneven DNA content. This means that it could have extra copies of genes that promote cell division, or less copies of genes that prevent too much growth. We know that many cancers have both, mutations and chromosome number alterations, but which was first in the evolution of cancer? Is chromosome segregation merely a feature of full-blown tumors, or can it be a main driver for oncogenesis? Untangling these two in vivo or in vitro is incredibly difficult. A-life methods are therefore well suited to untangle the role of chromosome segregation and shed light on its role in oncogenesis. To investigate this, we implemented these two mechanisms in an off-lattice agent-based model of cells that gives rise to emergent homeostasis. We equip each cell with a diploid genome, 23 pairs of chromosomes, with key genes in a gene regulatory network. Oncogenes that promote growth in red, anti-tumor, tumor suppressors in blue, and housekeeping genes necessary for cell maintenance in green, which will be explored in future research. Homeostasis emerges from the interaction between cells and the environment, which is only able to support about 1,000 cells. Cells go through an asynchronous update that, based on available resources, calculates the probability of death, division, or quiescence. The difference between mutations and chromosome segregation is that mutations change the functionality of the genes. These altered behaviors disregard any other regulation the gene would have had and make them go rogue. It can make oncogenes get stuck in the on position, constantly producing a go signal or permanently disable tumor suppressor signaling. Having extra copies of an oncogene, on the other hand, means that the gene is structurally okay, but because there are more of them, they produce more signaling proteins that promote cell division. Having less copies of a tumor suppressor means that it might not be able to stop division as it should. Copy number changes is therefore more about altering gene signaling. Our target was to have the genes kick in only when needed to capture the essence of homeostasis. If the virtual tissue gets cells from one half of the screen removed, the oncogenes promote growth only enough to recover and then are balanced by tumor suppressors. To untangle the effects that these two errors have on homeostatic tissues, we performed the following experiments. During cell division, we mutated a random gene, permanently altering its function. This cell can then inherit this mutation to their progeny. We also performed a separate experiment where we may segregate one random chromosome every division. 10,000 simulations of 200 days for each were made and key measurements were recorded. Mutation resulted in oncogenesis in 4.4% compared to 1.4% in chromosome segregation. Our results show that both mechanisms can result in very similar phenotypes and global dynamics. However, genetically, they are very different. We know that we note that loss of tumor suppression could be the main driver of oncogenesis. This means that mutation and chromosome segregation could actually benefit from acting in tandem towards this, increasing the probabilities of inactivating one tumor suppressor by mutation while losing the second copy by chromosome segregation. The next step for this research is to incorporate this in a tissue-specific context, like the colon crypt, and measuring how the tissue physics affects mutation and chromosome misirrigation, with the goal that this knowledge can point to better preventive treatments or early detection methods. Thanks to fruitful discussions with researchers at University College London and the AI Works, this is a step towards making that a reality.